Today I'm going to show you how to make what's called a braided palm. This one is about halfway done here. When you braid these palms, they can be used individually, or you can take them and bind them in, together into a, a sort of a staff or stalk that are used by the clergy or choristers or anyone else. Now the first thing we want to do is take out one of your palm leaves, and you'll notice that these are doubled which means that there are two leaves that are very close together. So what you want to do first is peel them apart so that you have, in fact, two singles. Now we have that already here, and one little trick I like to do to make them uh, much longer is to actually staple the ends together. And so you have a much longer stalk to work with. Now, you'll need two of these two of them stapled together, or two singles. You start horizontally. And then, with that, you will have what we might call a V. Now, the top side of the V can be on either side. It can be on the right side, or it can be on the left side. I generally like to have it on the left side, but it works either way. Now, as, as any case with braiding palms or braiding anything, I suppose, the hardest part is beginning. After that, you simply follow, follow the pattern all the way up to the top, and it gets easier as you go. Once you have your V, you want to start with the right side and fold it under. Once you have that folded under, you want to do the left side and fold it the other way, in this case on top, and you'll want to fold it behind that first side. Now you have to hold everything in place as you go on up the stalk. The next is you take your right again and you will fold it under, and then you'll take the left and you'll fold it over and stuff it in behind. And you'll find as you go, it helps to make creases. As you can see, we're beginning to form our pattern. And so essentially you want to follow it all the way up to the top, left side, then uh, or right side, and then left side. When you get to the top, you'll come to these little tiny ends, and you can simply uh, tie a knot in it when you get to the top, and it'll stay all braided and in place. And I hope this will help you enjoy your Palm Sunday.